Olha, Deus. 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 Professional development is the key that drives schools and it drives standards in schools. This student involvement and learning styles and teaching styles is, is key to the future of, of not just this school but all schools I think. We have kind of a gift and talented group called Aspire and the aspiring students work together who can come up with um, lots of ideas, they're kind of like a think tank if you like. The main question we had was what role do students have in teachers' performance management? So we're trying to find new ways to improve how teachers are observed, how the feedback is delivered. We had a team which is like, like sat like we are now in the corner or something, and we'd have one of the students filming it. We did a form which got loads of students to fill out, and then on what they'd like to ask like teachers. We had the film as well. So we can actually like, play, play back and see what was, what was good about it. The teacher would just go on as normal. We gave the teacher an opportunity to justify his, like, what he, why he think he did that. And we'd, say, we'd question him and say, oh, well, do you think you could have improved that maybe? I think some staff will see it as a big risk. Others will see it as an opportunity to get more feedback from the people that actually matter in the school. And they were worried about what would happen about the video or who was going to be watching them or you know, what the students would say to them. But we're hoping that you know, the boys that we choose for observations are will learn what to say and how to say it constructively. So what makes a good lesson then? Teachers that can take classes properly. Teachers got to make things easy to understand, haven't they? Yeah. The... Try and make it interesting. Spend time with pupils, speak on problems. And the... Teamwork. Yeah. Team work's a big one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What team did you work with as part of a team last lesson? So that was what made it difficult for you. And last, you can put down in the food with it's a couple of ideas about that. And I'm going to give you about three minutes. I'm uh, happy to be discussing as a team. So if one of your team members says, well, you didn't work very well, you can say, well, why not? If you can learn these skills now, as you get older, those skills will get better and better and better. The emphasis, the onus is on you to move to another team. So, very good. Once, once put this all in, you can the you could do that, but yeah. how much you got? So five rounds is all the So let's go to six. Yeah. 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 The idea of the exercise was to see if changing the temperature of water, in this case, altered the amount of salt that could dissolve in the water at that temperature. The instructions given to the group were clear, they understood what they had to do. Um, promoting or working together this was one of the main ideas of the lesson and I think that worked, worked really well for the students. There was a target sheet given as well, which is useful because they normally got hit then. The lesson was framed off well as well, we got a conclusion of the lesson just to see what the group learned and feedback to you about it. The level of work completed by the students. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, sometimes maybe they went off task a little bit. So are we saying the level as in level 4, level 5, level 6, or are we saying the level of just the, the, the quality of the work? Maybe? Yeah, just how, I guess how much they get done. How much they get done. Yeah. But maybe if they had a little bit more of time, they could probably get a bit more done. So, could, a nice idea. Could I, should, for future, could I have spread that type of lesson over a project, maybe two or three lessons and say, look, yeah. boys, we've got two or three lessons to do this. I was just saying maybe, because they didn't understand it, maybe you were, they, the positives are like, um, they understand the work, so maybe you were like, going over it quite a lot, so they didn't have lots of time to work. Well, it was, it was lovely, you know, having you in, I must be honest. It was very, I loved that. I've actually put that down in my professional development folder. Oh, that's good. So that I can demonstrate to other members of staff or other schools, look, this is what the kids think, because that's far more powerful. I say kids, it's what students think, because that's far more powerful than me just saying it. This 
your reading and your ability to empathise with text is as long, as long, as long as possible. Let me see your cards. Two threes, you're with him. Everyone got one between two. Who should really want to do the learning? James, huh? you, right. How the poet brings these words to life. <coughs> the Listeners by Walter Delamere. Is there anybody there? Said the traveller, knocking on the moonlit door. That I kept my word, he said. Because the words are going to come alive if you hear them. It sounds hard, doesn't it? Say smote. smote. Can you feel it feels kind of powerful? Right. Now demonstrate for me the word tap. Now demonstrate for me the word knock. Now demonstrate the word smoked. I thought some of the good bits was when, when, when you um, ask people to get in pairs, mm -hmm. instead of people like getting um, with like mates, they know you took like cards and you laid them out in front of the table. Um, I thought the bit where you um, said what smoke meant mm -hmm. when the, all the children fell on the children um, table was off of Alaska, mm -hmm. like that. Why, why did you like that? Because it like made it made the lesson more interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it would have been better if I'd have put that on the whiteboard. Yeah. Here we, Miss Ruff. This is a sheet that we used to assess you. Oh yes, I could see it on the day you were busy scribing away, ticking various boxes. I think this is actually an, an, an excellent crib sheet, for want of a better word, that teachers should have with their lesson notes. Um, I think it all depends on how comfortable a teacher might feel about having students in the room who are not just your students but also your assessors. But if the teacher has shown this beforehand and can see that what the students are asking is exactly what a good teacher should ask of him or herself. I see nothing threatening or untoward of this at all. But I'm also aware that if I'm seven out of 10, there is stuff I'm not doing that I could do better. It's very difficult for a 12, 13, 14 year old student to think that they have any right to tell the teacher how to improve their lessons but these boys felt empowered and they felt confident enough to talk to the teacher and say, actually, I think this could have been improved or thought this bit was brilliant and they knew the teacher wouldn't react in a negative way. Annie, you took part in this. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you? What did you learn? When you've been teaching for a while, I think sometimes you can get a bit blasé and you tick the various boxes and assessments, etc., and you think you're actually getting the information across to the child. It allowed me to really see what I should be teaching and look at it from the student's point of view. Andy, you were also a victim of this. A <laughs> victim. <laughs> I loved it. Um, anything I think that's going to help me move my teaching forward to enable students to learn in a more effective and efficient manner, uh, I'll, I'll have a go at. Um, slightly apprehensive to start off with, thinking, oh, I wonder what this is going to be like. Um, but the boys came through very well. It is quite a big thing for a pupil to say to a teacher what I, th I think that what you're doing is wrong and you often get in trouble for doing that but it would make it more accepted and I think it would improve the way we learn and also the teachers are going to find their faults and they will learn to accept that they're not perfect and build on it for the best, for like, for all of our good. Jim, as head teacher, how important is it that the staff take risks in this way? Vital. We need to look at whatever strategies and whatever techniques are out there which can move our school forward. Uh, and I think we've got a, a little glimmer of a start of something which could be very, very powerful. The way that we are able to um, involve the students in this initiative and the way that they're able to come back to us, it, it gives you the permission to have a decent conversation. And I think schools really do need to um, distance themselves sometimes from the authority and the officialdom and the, the red tape and the paperwork which gets in the way. And I think we need to go back a little bit and just get 
and have some decent conversation with students about their learning. Unless the students speak out for themselves, the, the teachers don't know what the students want for themselves. If people try, if pupils try to abuse it, then they could. The, the line needs to be drawn. Yeah, there's got to be a line because it's, it, it's intimidating for the teacher. I mean, no one likes being intimidated, and that's probably what they'd feel every time they walked in the classroom. Because if you got someone you know who doesn't like you, and wants you out, and they walk in, you're going to think, oh. You, you won't feel like teaching, will yeah. you? One boy, you know, I thought when, when this lad came in, I thought, whoops, he's going to give me a hard time because he might have had, shall we say, baggage left off from another encounter. But it was quite the opposite. Mm. He was perhaps one of the most um, supportive boys because he sees you just in that role as a teacher doing your job. You know, he doesn't bring any, um, as I say, mean-spirited attitude into it. So I would say to those staff who are a little bit alarmist and a little bit reluctant to just go with the flow a bit more. Students of across the age groups mm -hmm. were used mm -hmm. and they have spoken about the expectation that they have of continuing with this. Absolutely. Mm. It's so one of what the, you yeah. started. Mm. Yeah. 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 Certainly. Mm. Sky. Sky. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to let us sit back and they're not, let this they're go. They're going to be on our yeah. case, aren't they? Yeah, it has been a nice experience, like mixing with other people from the school as well. Like, So we're all coming together from different age groups we never spoke to them before, so it's good because we've got like a mix of people and like you can all give one like mixed view that's unique. You've been involved in a project where pupils have assessed you, talking about taking it forward. Are there any cons? Do you th I don't mean... <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there anything to say against it? Can you see any problems Your use of the it? term assessed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately makes you think, ooh, yeah, hang on a minute. This, yeah. this is a partnership yeah. with students where we're working together to try and improve mm. their experiences. Mm. Um, so I, I've never viewed it myself as I am being assessed. Bottom. Because it's not what they said. Well, the, the fight, that's your, <laughs> we'll speak to them tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, the, that, yeah. that concept, this is, we're, we're all in this together. Mm. And, and we want to try to move it forward. So the assessment, I don't view it as an assessment at all. Yeah, it's really important for staff not to see it as an observation or an assessment. They need to see it as feedback or, yeah. you know, same sort of level that yeah. they're on. It's important that the staff also act on what is said and don't yeah. just listen to it and, and store it somewhere. It needs to be acted mm -hmm. upon. Well, for years yeah. now, you know, at parents' evenings and at discussions and in letters, we've been telling pupils and their parents that this is a partnership. We've yeah. got to put our money where our yeah. mouth is. Absolutely. If it's a partnership, Absolutely. it's a partnership. Yeah, it's it's a two-way flow. Spot on. Our problem is when, when you're focusing on a teacher or someone, that, someone important and the student turns around and look, looks at you, yes. your focus is on them and not on the teacher. How do you think you can avoid that and what, what, what do you feel when people look at you through the camera? I think what you've got to try and do is like just look at them and like not with the camera and just look at them with the face and like just try to block them out and just keep focusing on the teacher. After a while I think I'll just get used to it and just, just forget that with that. It, it really has been a good experience and um, I mean, especially to have the permission to stick a camera in the teacher's faces, but um, I, I think I, I'm just really pr proud to be in the, the development team and to be part of helping developing the like, teacher.